Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another vlog. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Madison. I'm so happy you're here. Today's vlog is just going to be the start of a few days or a week in my life. We'll kind of see what I get up to, but I have some exciting things coming up. So I just wanted to vlog it for you guys. As you guys know, I'm on spring break currently and I have two full weeks off, which is so nice and so fun. Um, and I have a lot of things planned. So I thought I would still vlog over break. And I actually just came from a very exciting meeting that I wanted to tell you guys about. I'm doing a lot of wedding planning, all things like wedding related over the next couple weeks. And I'll tell you more about our plans later. But today was really exciting because I had a meeting with my live wedding painter. Her name is Florel. On Instagram, she is Florel Studios and she is amazing. She is like the most talented painter and I discovered her online through Instagram and we've become friends and so we just went and got a drink together but she's going to be doing my wedding painting during our ceremony which if you guys aren't familiar sometimes wedding painters um, they'll come set up either during your ceremony or during your first dance or whatever moment of your wedding of your choosing and they will paint a picture of you and your husband or whoever you're marrying um, and it's just so special. Kyle's sister had a live wedding painter during their ceremony and it's also just really cool to see them working and see them painting um, during the ceremony and they finish it later on by looking at a picture of it but it's really cool to see them just like doing their thing so I'm so excited for Florel to be doing our live wedding painting. If you guys live in Missouri or in the St. Louis area and you're looking for a live wedding painter I will have Florel's Instagram linked down below so you can check her out. She is so amazing. So that was really fun getting to hang out and talk to her. As you can see, I'm in a parking lot right now. Um, I just left hanging out with her and today is actually Kyle's birthday. He turns 27 today. He worked a night shift last night, so he's currently sleeping, <laughs> but I'm going to surprise him with some balloons and like a little cake or like some sort of treat. So I'm about to run into the grocery store and go get him some goodies so that when he wakes up, I can have it like all set up in the kitchen for him. Um, I always make a big deal out of birthdays. I'm a big birthday girl, so always doing the most so yeah I'm gonna go inside and see what balloons they have I want to see if they have like a two and a seven balloon um, if not I'll just get like a happy birthday balloon and a cake or something like that <laughs> later in the day Kyle and I are about to go out to dinner he loved his surprise his balloons and the chocolate cake was so yummy we're about to go get dinner at the melting pot let me know if you guys have ever been there Kyle and I and neither of us have been there and we've always wanted to go so we're gonna go all out and go to the melting pot for dinner tonight so we got all dressed up are you excited yeah I think it's just gonna be a lot of like sticky cheese I think it's just cheese no, I think they have like chocolate dessert too. Which we just ate <laughs> two pieces of chocolate cake as our appetizer before we go. What a romantic dinner. <laughs>
Good morning. I am off to a very exciting appointment today. As you guys saw, I grabbed my wedding dress before heading out of the house today because I'm going to my first round of tailoring appointments. So I'm just so excited because I get to put on my dress today and see myself in it again. And I guess today she's just going to do her first round of measurements of me in it. And I don't know how many appointments it takes typically to get like wedding dress dresses altered I assume a couple two or three appointments um so I'm glad I'm getting it done in March because we only have four months until the wedding so I'm really excited and yeah I'm just gonna take you guys along with me I have a yoga class afterwards hence the yoga attire and I brought my yoga mat um but yeah this is the first of like the exciting wedding appointments I guess kind of the second because yesterday I had that appointment with the live wedding painter today I have my dress tailoring appointment next week I forgot to mention this yesterday. Um, next week, Kyle and I have our food tasting for our caterer, and then we have our wedding band appointment to go shop for wedding bands. So spring break is just full of fun wedding stuff. It's just the best time to like fit in all these appointments since I'll be off. Um, and Kyle, his rotation that he starts this month is a little bit more relaxed. I mean, it's still long hours but he should have the weekends off he should have them off you never really know um so yeah just exciting things happening just wanted to take you guys along with me obviously i won't be able to show you me like in my dress during the appointment i wish i could just like vlog the whole appointment and i guess i could and just like show you guys it later um but obviously i don't want to show my dress before kyle sees it i don't want to show it online um so you guys will just have to wait to see me in my dress in a few months from now but yeah, let's head to our appointment. left the appointment it went so well it was so much fun and just like felt so special getting to put the dress back on again um the dress actually fits so well already she really only needs, needs to take in a tiny bit on the sides and then obviously just take some length off of it but um she was awesome so nice and i'm gonna pick up my dress in june it's not gonna take three months to do my dress but um she's just gonna hold it for me I don't need it to get it until June anyway so yeah it's just gonna feel so surreal picking it up in June and trying it on for the last time so that was really fun now I am at my yoga appointment you can't see that I'm at yoga six if you guys live in St. Louis I love yoga six it's one of my favorite studios I've ever tried out and I used to be a Sumit's high yoga girl but now I am a yoga six studio girl because it's just my favorite I love their flows every day it's different I love the music, I love the temperature, it's warm but not like too hot, so I love it. So yeah, we're gonna go in and do a hot yoga class. My skin is still feeling so good, you guys, from the facial that I received last week. If you didn't watch my last video, I got a salt facial treatment is what it's called. I'm always skeptical about facials and treatments and stuff like that. Like, do they really work? Because they can get so pricey. I'm like, is it worth hundreds of dollars? Um, yeah, after this facial treatment, I noticed results right away. Like literally that night I had no makeup on and I felt so confident in my skin because my skin was literally like glowing. It just looked so healthy and radiant. And I'm not just saying that this is not sponsored. I truly just loved the facial that I got. So if you guys do live in the Cottleville, St. Charles, St. Louis area, go to Illume Aesthetics and I see Rebecca. She is the best. Mention my name and you'll get a little discount. But my skin is doing so good. I've been doing all the steps for recovery using the recovery balms, lots of vitamin C oil, which I really is kind of the trick and like the secret ingredient for healthy glowing skin so lots of vitamin c but i also have been using some new products which you guys know i love my skincare so well, i would tell you about the new skincare products that i got so this is dr curical i think if i'm pronouncing it right it's from leaky hum cosmetics and they're having like a major sale right now and this stuff has been my new favorite little addition to my skincare routine. It's their vegan active berry first essence. And I wish I could tell you what magic is in this stuff. I mean, it's actually really pretty. The first thing that I've been doing after I take off all my makeup and cleanse my face, which I'll show you my favorite oil that I've been using, I put on this active 
berry oil and i feel like it just like locks in hydration and it's also really like soothing on my skin it's formulated using upcycled grapeseed oil and the peptide from extracted cranberry delivers deep hydration to skin with high absorption and then the queen of all and my favorite step in every skincare routine is moisturizer this is their vegan active berry lifting cream it is so good it uses high density resveratrol capsules made by french grapes which help improve your skin conditions and provide antioxidant effects and this stuff also is just like so satisfying it's super thick and creamy again a little goes a long way and it's also got that really cooling, soothing effect. The oil that I've been using is this Pro Balance Pure Cleansing Oil. It's purifying, replenishing, it's so good. I love using oils to take off my makeup because it's most gentle I found on my face. I hate like rubbing really hard on my face. I went through the whole makeup wipe era where I was like tugging on my eyes and I look back and like cringe because I know obviously that's like giving you major wrinkles if you're like tugging around your eyes. So now I just use like a really, really gentle oil. It's just one pump, a little goes a long way. I rub it all over my skin and then just like gently on my eyes and it just takes away the mascara so easily. I rinse it with warm water and then I go in with a cleanser, but this is my new best friend. So good, it is a Korean skincare line, so you already know it's gonna be top quality. Whatever <laughs> ingredients they have in these are just like magic on your skin. Feels so good. Also the cutest packaging, it's like luxury. It's glass packaging, so just very luxe. Love it. And they're both on major, major sale right now, so I will definitely have these linked down below. Kyle always gets mad because I put my engagement ring on the sink every time I shower, and he always like freaks out. He's like, Madison, that is going to get knocked off into the toilet or down the drain, which our drain is literally like covered. I'm like, it's not gonna fall in the drain, first of all. Second of all, it's gonna be you that really knocks off the counter, not me. And he's like, I know, and then it's gonna be my fault. And he's like, stop leaving it there. It's giving me anxiety. So I need to get better about that. I need to have one of those cute little like ring holders to put it on like <laughs> on my dresser. But honestly, I just wear my ring all the time. I know all my friends were like, you can't shower with it. You can't sleep with it. I'm like, girl, you better believe I'm sleeping with it. Like I am never taking this thing off. I'm, it's like my prized possession. I'm obsessed with it. I just stare at it every day. Any other like freshly engaged ladies out there stare at their ring all day, every day. Like I feel like I just got engaged. A minute ago because I still stare at my ring like it's just a dream come true. Okay, it is time for bed. Kyle is working an overnight shift, if I didn't already say that. He's working overnight tonight, so it's just me and the girls at home, which I don't love like being home alone and sleeping alone, but it is what it is. Just gotta make the best of it. I will see him in the morning whenever he gets home before I leave for work. So we see each other in passing on the days or the nights that he works, and then tomorrow night I'm gonna go bring him dinner. Since he's working nights all week, I like to bring him dinner every now and then so we can still eat together. Remember to work on one negative thought or feeling at a time. Once you've completed the positive reframing tool, you'll see why there's a downside to pressing the magic button. If you press the magic button to make all of your negative thoughts and feelings go away, all these positive and awesome things about you would disappear at the same time. Good morning, it is the next day and I just arrived at Illum Aesthetics. I'm about to go in for another treatment today. This is where I got my salt facial um a week or two ago and i scheduled with rebecca just a few different treatments leading up into the wedding day so i did the salt facial today i'm doing a b12 shot which i'll have her <laughs> explain the benefits of a b12 shot to you guys because i'm sure she can explain it better than i can and then we have a couple more that we're planning on doing like microneedling maybe like a chemical peel leading up to the wedding day. So I thought I would just take you guys along with me throughout that journey. Um, if you guys live in the St. Charles, Cottleville, St. Louis area, I see Rebecca at Illum Aesthetics. She is amazing. She always takes good care of me and she always offers a discount to people who mention my name whenever they come in to visit. So if you do live nearby, she offers so many different services like Botox, filler. She does the salt facial treatment. She does microneedling, chemical peels, dermaplaning. She really does it all. So she's amazing if you guys are looking to get some glowy skin for this summer. All right, I'm about to head in. My B12 shot. B12 is a 
a common vitamin deficiency. Um, so a lot of people feel lack of energy and focus, like they're dragging, they get that afternoon slump. So what B12 does is it helps with mental clarity, helps you get a good night's rest, it can help boost metabolism, and it gives you some energy, not like you've just had a bunch of coffee, but just kind of boosts that energy level so you're more steady with your energy. Good morning. I am off to another yoga class. <laughs> Guys, my spring break has literally just consisted of sleeping in and every morning I've gone to a yoga class so far on my spring break. It's been so nice just to have the time to be able to go. And something I've been doing is trying to do like a mainly heat-free spring break. So I've been trying to lay off all heat. <laughs> on my hair just to give it a break since I do style it usually every single week whenever I'm working and filming and stuff. So as you can see, it's like very thick and wavy whenever I don't do, well, it's always thick, but whenever I don't style it, it just gets really wavy and like out of control. <laughs> but I've been trying to just embrace the craziness this spring break. It feels good just to kind of go all natural. I feel like whenever I'm on vacations, like at the beach and stuff, I do the same thing. Like I always go heat free and just rock the natural hair. So I've been going in with the Olaplex number eight mask. And then I also have been using this Xmundo mask. This is for like colored hair, which I do bleach my hair. And so I like to use something that kind of will help restore the health of my hair since it does get covered every few months. And then something else I really like to do before I go to a yoga class is like drench my face in skincare and like oils just because obviously you can do that at night too which I do <laughs> but I feel like it gives me an excuse before I go like work out with my fresh face and I don't have any makeup on I'm about to go wash it off afterwards anyway I can just like drench my face in skincare so the first step that I've been doing lately is doing vitamin C I've recently talked to my esthetician and she really recommended vitamin C. So apparently it's very, very good for your skin. It has a lot of benefits. So I have been putting this on my skin morning and night. And then I always go in with a little bit of SPF just because even though it's not like super sunny outside, it's always good practice to start putting on SPF every single day, whether you're outside a lot or not it still protects your skin and then lastly i've been going in with my moisturizer and a face oil i've been using this ultra night serum by dirty lamb and this stuff is like really really thick and it just feels so good it says it has a high antioxidant blend of fatty acid oils and vitamin e so i kind of just like make a little cocktail on my face and mix together my moisturizer with that thick serum and just let it soak into my skin. So pretty much anytime if you see me in a yoga class I will look like a glazed donut with wet hair because I always drench my hair and my face in a bunch of products before I go. I don't know why, it's just like one of my favorite things to do. I was recently talking to my brother-in-law and he was saying that he never uses chapstick, like never has, never will, and his lips have never been dry. He thinks chapsticks are just like a scam and that it makes 
you crave more chapstick and it makes your lips even more dry and like once you start you can't stop and that's why they like market it so well and so I was like I feel like there is something to that because my lips are always dry and I'm always putting on chapstick so it's like come on I feel like maybe it's the chapsticks that feel good when you put them on your lips but maybe they're making your lips more dry in the long run. Obviously, I know things like Vaseline probably are still really good for your lips, which I should just use like plain old Vaseline instead of like products like these. But I just thought that was interesting that he's like, I've literally never used chapstick and he's like, my lips have never been dry. So interesting. Let me know what you guys think about that. All right, gonna go change into my yoga attire. I'm probably running late since I always get chatty on camera in the mornings. Um, and we're gonna head out. later I just wanted to end off this vlog here crazy girl running around in the background <laughs> um, I am editing the vlog right now but I realized I didn't get to some of the other wedding planning things that we had planned just because this video got kind of long so I decided I'm just going to kind of separate it into another vlog oh my gosh you guys they are so crazy right now so I am going to start up a new vlog today and finish vlogging all the other fun stuff that Kyle and I have planned, like ring shopping. We're going on a little weekend trip, which I want to vlog for you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. We have our food tasting for our catering and all of that. So I'm going to start a new vlog this week and add all of that stuff into it. Kyle's actually on his way home. He got called into work today. He was supposed to have a day off, like our first day off together in a long time. And at seven o'clock he got a call and they're like, we need you to come in. He wasn't even on call. They just called him in. So he is on his way home. It's like 8.30 at night. I'm just waiting for him editing this video. But I realized I didn't have an outro for it yet. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching today's vlog. Don't mind the craziness that is my house now. Um, I love and appreciate you guys. And I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.